Hello everyone, welcome to this new test Designer tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to recreate this uh, album cover for Vivaldi Gloria. This album cover was done by Rudolf de Harak. Uh, he has uh, some uh, amazing works, visual amazing works. So when I saw this I decided how to how can I recreate in Saitos Designer and I want to show you how, how you can achieve this okay so before we start first we're gonna put a constant and here we're going to declare or I don't know quantity And let's put 25. Okay. Then we need to use a rectangle to make the cross and another one. Finally, we're gonna to merge them. Then we're going to make or <coughs> render network with camera, a gear, material, in this case a constant, and the render. Here we can make the lady like a lady. We can add a transform to use it as a background. And finally, an eagle. And we're going to make this full this. So, this is it for now. So, first, uh, as we can see, the, the crosses are uh, placed uh, in an equal way. So they don't overlap more than their sides. So to make the the cross with the perfect uh, size, we need to imagine that our cross is in a <coughs> in a square like this. Every cross is in a square. So, as you can see, we need to divide this square in three sides to make the perfect side of the cross for every, every side. This is one third, one third, and one third. And that's the size the cross is gonna have. It's gonna have for each side. So here we can put one divided by three and here the opposite one divided by three and that's that's the shape. Okay, so now we're gonna work with the instances and for that we're gonna use a noise. This noise is going to have a resolution a width with the number of uh, samples we want and one row on right we change to nearest pixel and change the uh, pixel format to 3 bit flow to 32 bit flow rgb <coughs> Okay, uh, we add a, no a null to this and we can change the name to cos. Okay, so we uh, turn instance in on and drag the translate operator to cos. And we use R and G. We don't care about C because it's a 2D drawing. So here are the 
the samples we can see them because of the black of, of the white background but we turn monochrome off and or offset to zero so every sample or every instance move from the origin to any side okay uh, then we add uh, or we can copy this noise we also add a null and this null it's going to be colored then we drag it to the instance to page and in the color up and we select R, G and B so here we see our, our instances we can offset back to 0 0.5 and that's the color we can change them and of oh, this noise we need to go more than one so maybe for amplitude set it to three for camera we change the view to orthographic and or auto width to seven okay so next thing is that uh, every cross is placed just one third away from from the other so we see these these patterns and here we uh, they are displaced uh, in each is it's not having a, a step to display so we can achieve that using a limit and this limit we need to quantize the step the they're moving so we round and here we use the same value as the uh, the side of each cross and then this is the the result so in any change we make here they will be with that <coughs> pattern uh, another thing we can do is to play with uh, the blending the transparency so they can blend uh, the colors can be blend and no just place it one is uh, over the other so a setting that i found is to put one minus test alpha and one and as we move the seed of the period they blend in in a different way uh, of course you can play with all of this and you can see uh, how they can they can blend okay We can uh, animate by typing abstain dot seconds, uh, maybe by point one, and you can see how how they they move. We can play with the exponent, with the period, uh, as the period increases, they have a more uh, group movement and to the lesser period they are more uh, random okay also the harmonic you can make also see the the movement maybe that's it so you can play with all of these these parameters, uh, also we can animate the the color. I'm gonna copy and paste this expression, and you can see how the color is changing over time. We can uh, scale down the noise and also increase the period, so the colors are more uh, equal. 
if you don't like that you can also use uh, lookup if you use the lookup you need to turn the monochrome on of, of the noise and then we add a ramp so you can start choosing the colors you want to be on the sketch maybe this one so as you can see the colors you you are you choose here and maybe you can turn the view down and scale it back to one so you can see all the colors you you are choosing here <coughs> okay and what else we can do is to uh, add some rotation to the to the crosses so we can copy and paste this second noise we add a null we rename it to rotation oh sorry no we we don't we won't work with a um, with this texture uh, we need a if, if, if we want the uh, a smooth movement we need to convert the rotations we're choosing to um, uh, chop information so i'm gonna add a null here this null is going to convert to top two we only need one channel so we select r we add a lag <coughs> we turn on on the common page the time slice turn off sorry and turn on lag per sample finally we add a null and this null we rename it to rot <coughs> and we drag it to the rotate operator and in the rotation we select in the c-axis we need the rotations so here we don't see so much for now the rotation because we are in a <coughs> Uh, no, our rotation go from zero to one so there there's a small rotation you can see but we can increase this so first we can add a mat and a range we're going to minus 90 to 90 so here you see the, the rotations and how they are smoothed out you can increase the, the lag or make it and let's put it 0 0.3 okay but now uh, all, the, all the samples or all the instances are rotated so if we want some instances uh, not to rotate and only one uh, some of them to rotate we can uh, fix this with a limit and using all or again the quant the quantize we round and then we can choose uh, the value step we want to to quantize so uh, in 0 0.5 the rotations will be uh, will be the same the, the the rotations are rotating minus or plus 90 so the shapes has always the original position so if we don't ray we can start have these these variations so we can divide one by five 
and you can see that almost all of them are rotating if we uh, the, the if the value step goes uh, higher then you can see one of the samples rotating and and all the rest don't and <clears throat> i think that's that's it also you can hear a uh, noise this noise we put the resolution of the render we copy and change w for h change to random we add a level and finally a node <coughs> and the post on on the level in the post page you can turn the opacity off maybe five point zero point fifteen and then you have this new feeling that it's uh, making this more like paper maybe you can play also with the gamma uh, another thing uh, i almost forgot you can also uh, work with uh, turn turn the wireframes and uh, have this this outcome maybe change here to three so you can see more then maybe a change of background color to a black one so we can see make this look like a blackboard and when i was doing this i wanted to get rid of the uh, center lines the the center square and just have the perimeter of the cross so uh one <coughs> way to do this uh, is using making a, a rectangle with with tops for size first we put one on x and one third on y we connect another rectangle then our size in x is one third and y and in the output we select come with input and that's our rectangle finally we need to make this a uh, sock so we use a uh, trace sock here we see the full cross but if we turn the display on and uh, and use the w <coughs> We can see the wireframe so as you can see here we don't have any more the the center square uh, finally we can uh, turn on the resemble shapes so our shape is completely uh, the lines are vertical and finally we can connect this trace to the geo and have only the uh, the edge of the cross rendering and yes uh, i think that that's it uh, you can have any kind of of outcome you want i want to show you the file that will be available on patreon if you want to download we'll have will have uh, these these examples so, so you can start playing from from each one and um, so, so that's it if, if you like uh, to download the file will be available on patreon and any comment or suggestion please leave it below also um, if you like this tutorial and want more recreations 
uh, tutorials please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to to my channel uh, see you on the next tutorial